Hey guys, how's it going today? Alright, so I've got a little, um, <clears throat> well actually, do you guys know when I was going to do that, the hand thing for 25th anniversary, and I had all this stuff to take back, <coughs> 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 sorry, to Hobby Lobby, still got my cough, sorry, <laughs> um, anyway, this is what I ended up exchanging it for, plus a Bath and Body Works thing, and a couple things from the Dollar General store, so, alright, so, first off, I picked up these um, Ad Tech Crafters Precision Glue Fine Line little stuff that I buy. Um, they're $2.99, and um, I don't know. I, I really can't find a glue that I just love, but this this works, you know. Um, next up, I, uh, there's a channel I watch. What is her name? Oh, she's really good. I can't think of it right now, but anyway, so she had this storage box, so let me take this off, and everything from this brand, um, was half off, so that was good, and, uh, I purposely timed it for that week, <laughs> um, so you could get more for your return money, I guess you could say, but anyway, um, it's a finger dauber case, and then two packs of finger daubers to color things with, so I really like that. Um, oh, sorry, I got three glues, my bad. Um, uh, and then Paper Studio, that's, you know, the brand that was on sale. Uh, these were marked down to, what was it, 525 or something. Um, but I like using the pre-made card, um, pre-made card bases. So they come in really handy, and I use this particular color a lot. Sometimes if they're colored, you know, I'll cut them out of my regular card stock, but I really do like the handiness of those and then you can just layer on there and the favorite thing oh i cannot even believe they had these and i almost walked right by without noticing um these are the tim holtz distress watercolor pencils yay the 12 woodless water reactive highly pigmented pencils so i am super excited about that um anyway let's look at the colors picked raspberry speckled egg fired brick salty ocean rusty hinge Villainous Potion, uh, Mustard Seed, Walnut Stain, Peeled Paint, Black Soot, Salvage Patina, and Picket Fence. Okay, so $17.99. I think they are higher online. So there's three different, <clears throat> three different sets. I don't, I didn't have anything to compare them to. Like, is this the one I would definitely get over the others? Because this is the only one they had. So I just went with that. All right, and then at Bath and Body, I had a little free um, sample thing for some pumpkin pecan. Well, it was a up to I think it was eight fifty or eight ninety. Uh, no, I think it was eight fifty a product, and then this is eight fifty. So spot on, right? Um, you get those in the mail, and you get little. You can sign up for their email or whatever, um, and you get like a twenty percent off and something else. But I just take the little free one and get me a little freebie every once in a while. And that really does me. But I love the smell of this pumpkin pumpkin pecan waffles. So, anyway. Um, and then the Dollar General store. I got this Let's Get Spooky poncho. Um, I do some little <coughs> Halloween activities and things at school. Little lessons. And um, one happens to involve a ghost and a pumpkin and a few other things but anyway so I will hopefully get to wear that then let me put that up there and then they had a tie-dye um hippie poncho and sometimes they will do like units at school that um and they'll try to get everybody involved like all of middle school or whoever's doing it um and they'll do like the 60s thing so like the science class will do um the, like make tie-dyed shirts and talk about how the chemicals react and whatever um and then like Eng english language arts will you know do some type of reading about that and social studies will study you know about that time in history or whatever so um art will make some cool stuff anyway so but i thought i would uh, get that hippie poncho even though my wife is probably <laughs> i could probably wear anything in my closet and fit right in because I, I really do love this style um but I tend to shop in the Halloween section for things that I would wear on a regular basis. Okay, then I picked up these. Um, you know what? I'm going to open this. This is a glow ring. Well, okay. 
I don't know how this works. Hmm. Maybe you slide it in there. I don't know. Hmm. I guess so. Okay, so a little less uh, pizzazz than I originally thought. And of course it doesn't fit, but you know, that's okay. I can wear it right about there. And I can have like matching pumpkins or something on my fingers. And um, anyway, so then I got some glow bracelets. These are for the kids, but um, I actually thought these would be, you know, guys know I do prepper videos occasionally, not very often anymore, but I'm still prepping. I just don't do the videos, but there is one right before this. So anyway, um, these are great to keep in your prepper kit as well, just for some light or you can, I don't know. Like, if you need help and wave them or whatever, put them around your dog, whatever you want to do. And then, this is a pumpkin glow bracelet. So, I want to open one of those. I got two of those to see how big that is. Hopefully, it's not just as cheesy as the other thing, but it looks like it kind of is, to be honest. <laughs> so, basically, you just slide the lights in there. Yeah. Okay, so not the uh, the best dollar I've ever spent, but whatever. If they don't work, I mean, like if they're just not what I'm looking for for uh, my <laughs> holiday attire, um, I'll give them to the kids at school and they'll love them. So. so I guess these are the big glow stick things here. So I suppose you just put them through there. Oops, oh no, I've already cracked one. Well, I'm not going to put them through there because apparently I'm already gluing. Um, but yeah, I don't even know. And then loop it around. I don't, hopefully that will be big enough for me, but we will see. Um, but yeah, so I got two of those. And that is about it for that run. Um, picked up a few groceries and things and mainly dog food. But um, that was about it. I went to the dentist and yeah. So that was my dental day out. Uh, it was nice to be out and about, out in the daylight and off of work and all that good stuff. So um, even though I went to the dentist, I kind of had a good time. <laughs> I can't really say that because normally I do not. I definitely do not at the dentist. Um, but the pain was not bad this time. Even the, the shot to numb me, which never really works, but um, it really did not you know, hurt that bad, and it's, it's like, just like a little bee sting or something, but, um, yeah, that wasn't bad either, but the feeling itself, although I don't, like, when I run my tongue over it, you know how you do, I don't think it's quite right either, but, um, I was numb, I couldn't really tell it at the time, but, yeah, so we'll see, um, but that was my day out, so tell me, tell me if you're going to dress up for Halloween, what you're going to be, what you're going to do, are you giving out candy that night, what's the plan, what's the plan, Stan? Alright, I'm going to go because I'm just being silly now, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all.